If you're in the market for a new saw, you may be wondering whether a chop saw or miter saw is the right choice for you. Both types of saws have their own unique benefits, so it's important to know what each one has to offer before making a purchase. In this chop saw versus miter saw comparison video, we'll break down the key differences between these two types of saws so you can make an informed decision about which one is right for your needs. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. What is a chop saw? A chop saw is a portable cutting tool that is often used in the construction and woodworking industries. It is similar to a miter saw but has a different purpose. A chop saw is used to cut long pieces of lumber or metal into smaller pieces. The chop saw is typically powered by an electric motor, and it has a circular blade that is mounted on an arm. The blade can be rotated to any angle, and this allows the chop saw to be used to cut material at any angle. The chop saw is a very versatile tool that can be used to make quick, accurate cuts. It is also very portable, so it can be easily transported from job site to job site. The abrasive disc chop saw is a type of chop saw that uses an abrasive disc instead of a blade. These saws are often used to cut metal, and they can make very precise cuts. The disc is made of grit and can quickly chop through metal. Top 5 Chop Saw Number 1. Porter Cable Chop Saw Number 2. Dual Chop Saw D28715 Number 3. Evolution S355 CPSL Heavy Duty 14 Inch Metal Cutting Chop Saw Number 4. Evolution Power Tools RAGE4 Number 5. Ironton 7 1 divided by 4 in Dry Cut Chop Saw What is a miter saw? A miter saw is a powerful tool that is used to make precise, angled cuts in wood or metal. It is similar to a chop saw but is designed for making more accurate cuts. This type of saw consists of a circular saw blade that is mounted on an arm. The blade can be rotated to any angle, which allows the miter saw to make angled cuts. Miter saws are often used in home improvement and carpentry projects. They can be used to make simple crosscuts or more complex angled cuts. In order to make a miter cut, the saw is set at the desired angle, and the workpiece is placed against the fence. The saw is then activated, and the blade swings down onto the workpiece, cutting it. Miter saws come in both standard and sliding varieties. A standard miter saw has a fixed arm while a sliding miter saw has an arm that slides out from the body of the saw. This allows for longer cuts. Sliding miter saws are typically more expensive than standard miter saws. Top 5 Miter Saw Number 1. Ryo by 10 Amp 7 a quarter Sliding Miter Saw Number 2. Luckazel Art Craft Mini Cutoff Machine Miter Saw Number 3. 12 15 Amp Sliding Dual Compound Miter Saw Number 4. Silverline Miter Box and Saw 300x 90mm Number 5. Draper 88192-550mm Precision Miter Saw Chop Saw vs. Miter Saw How do they differ? Now that we have a better understanding of what chop saws and miter saws are, let's take a look at the chop saw vs. miter saw and how they differ. Type of Cut One of the biggest differences between chop saw vs. miter saw is the type of cut they are designed to make. As we mentioned earlier, chop saws are typically used to make long cuts in lumber or metal. They can also be used to make cross cuts, but their primary purpose is to make long cuts. Miter saws, on the other hand, are designed to make precision cuts. They are often used to make miter cuts, which are cuts that are made at an angle. Miter saws can also be used to make cross cuts, but their primary purpose is to make accurate, precise cuts. Size and Portability Another big difference between chop saws and miter saws is their size. Chop saws are typically much larger than miter saws. They are also not as portable, which can be a big consideration if you plan to use your saw on the job site. Miter saws, on the other hand, are smaller and more portable. This makes them a good choice for projects that require more precision than a chop saw can provide. Size and portability may or may not be a big consideration for you, depending on the projects you plan to use your saw. If you plan to use your saw primarily in the shop, then size and portability may not be as important. Cost Chop saws and miter saws also differ in terms of cost. Chop saws are typically less expensive than miter saws. This is due, in part, to their simpler design. Miter saws, on the other hand, tend to be more expensive because they are designed for precision cuts. If you are on a tight budget, then a chop saw may be the better choice. The actual price is not the only consideration when it comes to cost. You also need to consider the price of the blades. Miter saw blades are typically more expensive than chop saw blades. This is because they are designed for precision cuts. Ease of use 
Chop saws and miter saws are both easy to use, but chop saws are typically easier to use than miter saws. This is because chop saws only require one hand to operate, whereas miter saws require two hands. Chop saws are also generally more forgiving than miter saws. This means that if you make a mistake while using a chop saw, it is less likely to result in damage to the workpiece. Miter saws are still relatively easy to use, but they require more attention and care than chop saws. This is because they are designed for making precision cuts. If you are not careful while using a miter saw, you can easily damage the workpiece. Accuracy Chop saws are generally less accurate than miter saws. This is because chop saws are designed for making long, straight cuts. Miter saws, on the other hand, are designed for making precision cuts. If you need to make a precise cut, then a miter saw is the better choice. However, if you only need to make a long, straight cut, then a chop saw will suffice. In some cases, you may need both a chop saw and a miter saw to complete a project. Versatility Another big difference between chop saws and miter saws is their versatility. Chop saws are designed to make long, straight cuts. They can also be used to make crosscuts, but they are not as versatile as miter saws. Miter saws are a much better choice if you are looking for a versatile saw. They can be used to make long, straight cuts, crosscuts, and miter cuts. This makes them a good choice for a wide variety of projects. Blade Life Chop saw blades typically have a shorter lifespan than miter saw blades. This is because chop saw blades are designed for making rough cuts. Miter saw blades, on the other hand, are designed for making precision cuts. If you plan to use your saw for a variety of different projects, then you will need to replace the chop saw blades more often than the miter saw blades. This can add to the cost of using a chop saw. Also, as we mentioned earlier, the circumference of a chop saw's blade gets smaller as it wears down. This can make it more difficult to make precise cuts and ultimately shorten the lifespan of the blade. Dust Collection Chop saws and miter saws also differ in terms of dust collection. Chop saws typically have better dust collection than miter saws. This is because chop saws are designed to make long, straight cuts. The longer the cut, the more time there is for the dust to be collected. Miter saws, on the other hand, are designed for making precision cuts. This means that they make shorter cuts and the dust has less time to be collected. Chop saw versus miter saw. Who wins? So, who wins in the chop saw versus miter saw debate? The answer is both. Both chop saws and miter saws have their own unique advantages and disadvantages, and in most cases, you'll need both to complete a project. Keep your requirements in mind and invest in the saw that best suits your needs. That's all from my end. I make helpful videos daily so do subscribe my channel. If you need more information or if, if you want to know product price do check out my description. For any kind of problem please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life much more easier.